And we're back! Well, we hope that you have all enjoyed your meal. There was a broccoli salad up there that was phenomenal. It was delicious. You know, many people think that I only eat bacon. This isn't true. I'm pretty well-rounded. I enjoy broccoli salad a lot. Yeah, in fact, I was pretty sure that you were uh, a vegetarian after watching what you put on your plate up there. Although I did notice that with those Brussels sprouts that you picked out a lot of the bacon and left a lot of the green stuff behind. Anyway. Let's yeah, let's sure. Yeah, as Colin said, we're welcome back, and I have to say, you know what? Christmas is my favorite time of year. Wait, wait, Travis. In our last episode, you declared that how Colin, Colin, Christmas. Christmas is my favorite time of year. I'll drop it. Now, Christmas is my favorite time of year, but I understand that for a lot of people, Christmas can be an extremely stressful time. You know, that makes a lot of sense. What with the giving of gifts, the making of meals, and the having to get along with your crazy Aunt Colleen. I'm sorry, Aunt Colleen. <laughs> but here at Colin and Travis in the Morning, we want to help you with each of these things. And so we present to you Colin and Travis's tips for surviving the holidays. <laughs> now, the first thing we wanted to talk about is gifts. Sometimes getting gifts can be a little bit stressful, uh, but this is a really easy one. Here at Colin and Travis Productions, we have a vast, vast variety of merchandise on our incredibly 100% fake e-store. We have gifts starting off with mugs. Yeah, see, these mugs are, are very cool, and as you can see, we have uh, samples up here in front of us, and they come in two different designs. They come in the cool hipster Colin design, and yeah, and they come in the cool Travis design as well. Nice. If if you don't want um, if you don't want to enjoy a nice cup of tea in a mug, you know there is something else we can have. You could enjoy it working. Yeah, this board game is great. It combines clips from our past episodes, trivia questions. It's a great way to test your knowledge about Colin and Travis in the morning. And finally, not finally, but if you are the type of person that just likes to sit around and not do much, you can buy a t-shirt. Yeah, we got t-shirts. These t-shirts were designed by our very own Emma Ronald, and they are very cool. They are shabby chic, guaranteed to make you the best looking person at any occasion that you go to. Don't forget handmade. Handmade, that's right. Uh, and lastly, but definitely not least, if you have a ton of money laying around and you're bored and you want something completely authentic, I would suggest picking up the Fedora. Travis, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Fedora? I'd be happy to tell you about the Fedora, we'll call it. And you may be wondering what sets this Fedora apart from other Fedoras. And there are two things which make this Fedora unique. The first one is that it is the only fedora that you can find that has my seal of approval. It's the only one that I've said, yes, this is good. And secondly, secondly, and probably more importantly, is you may have noticed that there's a pull string on the back side of the hat. What does that pull string do? Well, you pull it and you will hear me say really cool catchphrases such as, that's fedorable. <laughs> or Travis in the morning. Yeah, something like that. Exactly. Now. Let's talk about meals. Meals. Meals can be incredibly stressful at Christmas time. I know that Francisco and I and, and several other people were running around all afternoon making turkeys and doing other things. And man, it is hard work. It is stressful work. And you know, as we were doing this, there was one thing that I thought of that could have just saved a whole lot of time and would have been even actually probably more delicious. And let's do this. Bam. <laughs> All you have to do, walk down the road, go into KFC, buy a few bucks of chicken, you're laughing. It's finger licking good. <laughs> now, what about Christmas brunch? Now we know that the ladies are having a Christmas brunch that's coming up, and that's a really common thing to do at the holidays. And you know, it's, it's, it's a tough thing to do. You're making cinnamon buns, you gotta wait for them to rise, you're wondering what to make. I've never made a frittata, how do you do that? It's a frittata. It's, it's, I don't know, some sort of egg thing? I don't know. I'm curious. But it takes a lot of work. And, you know, <coughs> I don't know. I, I always know that we went to a Boxing Day bash every Christmas, and it was a fun time with brunch, but a lot of work went into it. And so 
we thought, why don't we come up for a solution for this problem of, of what should you make for brunch? I think we should use this time to promote our 100% fake e-store one last time. Who wants to eat some cereal? Everybody. <laughs> we all love cereal, we all eat it. So me and Travis basically just took our favorite cereals and threw them all in one box for you all. Yeah, it's, it's, got, it's got the best features of every cereal that you've had. This cereal will chew up the roof of your mouth just like Captain Crunch. It's got the dehydrated marshmallows just like Lucky Charms. Mm -hmm. This cereal not only snaps, it also crackles and pops. And it has the two best flavor combinations known to humankind. It's got chocolate and peanut butter. Joy, it's delicious. Fantastic cereal you can't get any better than that. So let's, let's get to the, the last topic here, the toughest one that we have on our list, and that is how do you get along with your crazy relative, or in Colin's case, Aunt Colleen? Uh, yeah, we're old Aunt Colleen. I don't know how many times you guys do this, but I have about 35 times this year alone stuck my foot in my mouth by saying something silly, um, not inappropriate, just weird. I don't know, there's just things that you're not supposed to talk about. There's, there's just so many topics, and you know, we can sometimes make a mistake by talking about something that's controversial and so what we thought we would do to try to help you out is we actually made a list of things that you should, topics that you should try to avoid whenever you're with friends or family. So Colin, do you want to put that list up? So we've got a, a very small, non-exhaustive list that's up there, you know, you've got money, you've got Obamacare, nuclear power, you know, sports teams, government bailouts, you know, gender roles, smart meters, the Keystone Pipeline, which doctor is the best on Doctor Who, you know, BC Ferries, kind of nationalism. Stop. What? Travis. Do you think that it might be easier just to show them the other list that we made of things that are appropriate to talk about? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, that's not, a, that's not a bad idea. It's a much shorter list, so why don't we show them that list? This list is quite simple. It can miss, it can, it can cause two things. The weather, and the college drivers in the morning. <laughs> totally non-controversial. Two things that, you know, everyone loves. <laughs> so, now, that, you know, that gives you a good idea for how to survive the holidays. Please tune in to Colin and Travis Part 3 for the exciting conclusion of our live show.